We will now begin with Sabah Humasi. Well, Sabah, another uh, knockout for the highlight reel. How good did that one feel, man? What? Another, another uh, highlight for the reel. How did that feel? Feels amazing. Yeah, and you guys, uh, it seemed like there was some bad blood, which sometimes happens when, when you fight and you have face-offs. Uh, was there anything particular with him leading into this fight that you didn't like? Uh, to be honest, what started everything was Tuesday. We were in the workout room. You know, hence we were in the blue corner. I'm in the red corner, but I was with uh, Johnny. And we were moving around just to get a sweat. And he came in. So out of respect of it being his workout room, you know, it was late at night. We didn't figure, we didn't figure he was going to be in there, you know. So he comes in and I said, being respectful, I said, hey, I'm sorry, man. I was like, I didn't know you were going to come in here this late. If you want, I can go over to my corner, to my, uh, the red locker room. He fucking ignores me. So I'm like, all right, two options here. Either this motherfucker doesn't speak English or just being a cocksucker. But by the way that he was looking at me, he was definitely being a dickhead. So I'm like, all right, motherfucker. Next thing you know, we're at the fucking weigh-ins and... You know, he, comes, he, he says he's going to kill me. And then he fucking headbutts me. In English? In English. The fuck is that? So I had to hit him with a Buck Leasy special. Gave him an Ambien, you know, and put him to sleep. What is it about you that always kind of finds yourself in the middle of that stuff? Is it something that you think just kind of helps fire you up as well to get mad at your opponent? Or is it just the way things have played out over time? Man, honestly, I don't, I don't go in a fight and, and fight with emotion, you know. You can't let your emotions get the best of you. You got to be on a clear mind. You got to be able to execute your game plan. You go in there fighting with emotion, man, you're going to make a mistake. You know, you're going to go in there seeing red, trying to kill someone, and it's not going to come. You know, you, you're going to expose, you could expose yourself. It's just, it'll bite you in the ass. So I don't ever fight with emotion. Whatever, the, someone could, you know, try to get under your skin or whatnot, try to get under my skin. It's not going to work. I'm going to say calm. I'm going to say cool. I'm going to chill. I'm a jokester, man. I make jokes. I like to laugh. As long as I'm fucking with you, you know I'm in my mindset. You see me fucking walking around here making jokes and having fun? I'm a dangerous man. I know you, you say you don't fight with emotion, but you know fans have adored you because it seems like when you get in there, there's always heaters being thrown and it's back and forth. That's the way you've always fought, but now you're starting to really find the results as well. Is there anything that you've done differently or has it just been sticking to the plan and finally, here we are? To be honest, Man, uh, I believe I was, I was just a late bloomer, you know. Um, obviously, I'm getting better in the gym, right? But it was more of a mental thing for me. I'm putting everything together now. I'm seeing things. I'm more calm in there. I'm picking my shots. <clears throat> Not loading up on a lot of things. I just hit like a fucking truck. And if I land any punch, right hand, left hand, kick, whatever, I'm going to put you down. I don't give a shit who you are. And, and if you want to find out the hard way, let's fucking do the damn thing. I'm ready. I guess, where do you think you go from here? Is there anybody in this division that you would like next? Anybody. I don't give a fuck. Bellator fucking calls me. I never say no. Ever. Ever. My goddamn life. And I never will. Don't threaten me with a good time. You want to fight? Let's fucking do it. You want to do it in a goddamn cage? I'm in. You want to do it in a fucking parking lot? I'm in. I don't give a fuck where you want to do it. Let me know. I'll meet you there. So call me with a goddamn name and let's fucking do the damn thing. That's it. Hey, congrats on the win. Um, so this makes three in a row for you. So what, where does this- really, Two in a row. Oh, two in a row, yep. So where does this uh, really like push you to go? Like, is it just like you said, anybody, anytime, or is it like you need a, like a reason or something? Like to climb the rankings? Anybody, anybody. Doesn't matter who, anyone in the top 10, anybody. I don't give a shit. Tell me who, let's do the damn thing. Anybody, doesn't matter who, I don't care. Let's fucking go. And uh, coming into this fight, what was the, uh, what was your game plan? What's that? What was your game plan coming into the fight? The what? The game plan? To fucking knock him out. Gave him a goddamn ambient, motherfucker's snoozing. He's probably sleepwalking right now somewhere. Someone go find the man. Thank you. What's up, Homasi? Congrats on the win. Uh, how soon do you plan to get back out there? The fight lasted 58 seconds. You don't have a mark on your face. How soon do you plan to get back out there in the cage? I got to check out my right hand. Uh, and if it's all good, the sooner the better. Doesn't matter. I'm in shape. I'm ready to go.
Do you ever wish that you had more time to showcase your skills in there, or is it the game plan always to get in there, get out, and get paid as fast as you can? Can you can you repeat that? I, I couldn't hear. Do you ever wish that you had more time to showcase your skills in the uh, in the cage, or is the game plan always to just get in and get out as fast as you can and get paid? I get paid per fight, not per round. So that's how I do it. And a lot of fighting is visualization, visualizing the fight during camp, during fight week, when you're walking down in the cage. Did you visualize the fight going this way? Is this a scenario you had played out in your head? Does a bear shit in the woods? <laughs> and lastly, uh, what can you say about Dustin Poirier, Tiago Alves, Mike Brown, and how they helped you prepare for this big moment? Man, those guys, uh, they're, ins they're super inspirational to me. I look up to those guys so much, and I'm, I'm so happy. Um, they're on my side. They're with me. They're on my team and everything. And uh, I'm just grateful for everybody. All, all the help they give me. Um, we're a team. We're a family, man. And I love those guys. I'll do anything for them. So I'm just super grateful for everything they do for me. And in the hotel this week, I saw you hanging out in the lobby more than any, just about any other fighter. Is part of your fight week preparation to just be as relaxed, as calm, as cool, and collected as you can be headed into a fight like this? Absolutely. Uh, calm before the storm, you know. I'm in shape. I'm ready to go. Last week, typically, you know, we focus on the weight, dropping it down, and, uh, you know, just recovering, coming in here and, and putting on a performance like this and executing the game plan. That's, that's the mission. You know, all the training and stuff, that's done in the gym. You don't get to practice in the cage. That's, that's a go time. That's, that's real life. That's go. Yes, all green. Congratulations, man. Any questions from the chat, please raise your hand. Okay, that concludes our time. Thank you so much. Holla at